Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joey of Lagos. Welcome to the listening room. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to officially welcome you guys to the listening room. And today is a special day. I'm really honored to be doing this right now. We are here for Teslim, and this is like your 10th project. How do you feel? How does it make you feel? Like you've released 10 projects in this crazy Nigerian industry. I'm not even counting. If you jump past 10 somehow, but... It's... We're just doing God's work. <laughs> I don't count how many projects I've done or see how... Sometimes I'm like, yo, we don't rap, shall we? Like we've said a lot of lines on IG. Like over 10 years of... 12, 12 of years. I've known you for 12 years at least. Uh, that's what I said, over. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's um, for me, it's, it feels new every time. This is most likely the most confident like I felt on a night like this about an album. I usually would just panic like, yeah, okay, we need to do better. Like the moment I hear a song, after like the fifth time, I start to see how I can make it better. Okay, OCD. So I can't hold on to years or counts, or it's just music that I like to do every time. All right, yeah, so that's cool. So Teslim, why, 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 why the name? I see what it means right now, but it feels like it's a name. It's my father's name. Oh, the, the Barack father. No, the church one. <laughs> Funny enough, now to pop see that and I realize say his name, the meaning of Teslim was peacemaker or pacifier. And he was that type of person all his life. Even though you know it's constant day, but he was he was just calm, like he was the calm crazy, like he's not that talk talk talk. But he was always peacemaking. And um him passing, I think it was Raymond I was talking to. And Raymond just says, Ah, you know so it's supposed to just immortalize Bob Seal and everything. But in my head, I was already I was already thinking, so looking at his casket, I was like, ah, test him. The energy still lives in me. Gotcha. Oh wow, amazing. Rest in peace, Pops. Thanks. Yeah. All right. So um, let's go to the artwork. Uh, I think I know the artwork is bro like a horse. What's up with this? I was invited to Judeoba. So I'm getting to Ijebu. We're mounting horses and they're giving us all this guy. I'm like, ah, bad guy. Yo. So Ijebu people get this kind of level. I'm like, ah, boss my head. Yo. Then they go, oh, your father's village is two hours from here. And if you are a Nigerian child in Nigeria, you know, say that they always pray for church against enemies from your father's side. <laughs> so you barely know shit about <laughs> other than the enemies there, you know. Absolutely. So I'm like, ah, we are two hours away from my dad's place. And ah, uh, oh, there's this type of regal activity, you know. I saw that in a different light. And I wanted the album that I named, well, after him. Because my dad also likes white. Now, proper Selema, I mean. So I'm like, okay, get a white horse. Um, dressed in the regalia that I was dressed in at the Oju Deoba in Ijebu, which is not Ooh. far from where he's from. And um, even though it's nighttime, the moon still shines, so he's alive, isn't it? It is. Yeah. All right, so the artwork kind of like embodies everything, like for Popsy, from where he came from and everything. Oh, yeah. I was inspired by the trip I took to Ijebu. I went to Otumba from the Alati Shades. And um, I was like, ah, what's my head do? I even had the katana and stuff like that, boss. Samurai right. level, guys be giving them. You know, I was like, ah, so we have this in Ijebu, mad dude. I, I, I really fucked with it. And I wanted the album to carry that message too. Oh, uh, that's amazing. Crowd controller, we should visit Ijebu soon. So yeah. let's, <laughs> let's dive into this album. So I had the opportunity of listening to the album, but I just decided not to. I wanted to feel, you know, with I wanted people. to feel alive, yeah, with the people, yeah, you know. I got you. All right, Kakojo, let's go. I realize baby mama drama is the worst part of being a father. Uh, and I should have been like sound so tan. If you saw my D, it'll mean my brother. It's some real hip hop shizzing it. All right, so for this track, you know, what's up? Um, Who produced it first of all? Beat Smith. I met him through the Raymond and Beat Smith has always been like a very, very special guy with the beats. And when he sent this, I was like, I got gotcha. you, we go with this. Um, and I also just wanted to tell, there are certain things you really want to address, but then you're not addressing it because it means anything per se, it's just your experience. And I felt like that beat made sense to do that, especially because it's Beat Smith. Oh shit, it did. Yeah. Oh, so the next song is, I like the introduction. You know, I feel like that's like a proper introduction to an album, you know? 
then now and it ends with don't expect me to be something that I wasn't in the first place. Like so all your suggestions, you know, it's okay to suggest, but no no is your own. You know. Take <laughs> It's all good. All right, so the next song is I Need You featuring Ichaba and Milare. Uh-huh. Such a beautiful name. <laughs> oh. Yes, it means I have justice. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. All right, crowd controller. What? Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. You're not ready? No. When will you be ready? Gentlemen, some classic VEC. You know how you check on social media and you see one or two um, content that is circulating? And one of them is how um, you feel like fathers are being intentionally taken away from their kids out of sentiments and not because he really is a deadbeat. Yeah. And at that moment, that was exactly what the energy felt like. So I was in a recording session and she was there. She was two then. She's going to be seven. And it felt like, okay, for every time that I've missed seeing you, for every time that I've wanted to be there and I couldn't be there, I will write this music and leave it there. So every time you wonder if I ever wanted to, you can just read these lyrics and see exactly how I felt. And it ties to my dad because I legit do feel like I'm the blood of a noble. So your grandpa left, but he's a part of me, which is a part of you, which is part of everything you do. I had to tie that to it. So she doesn't lose her heritage, even in my lyrics. She can't. This this song gets me emotional plenty, plenty times. I did see him for your eye. Yeah. (laughs) You see me too. (laughs) Like, oh, slow down. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that was I Need You, produced by who, by the way? I Need You was produced by Major Bangs. And that's, so when she was a kid, I'd say, you know, she'd say, I need you. So we made that into a record. And shout outs to Ichaba. I've always felt like Ichaba has very, very special vocals. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like he has special vocals and he delivered on this. Big love to him. Yeah, he did. Lovely song, by the way. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the next song is Why Me? You know, let's just listen to this. Let me know. Why me? Why me? Lord, why me? Why me? Lord, why me? Why me? Lord, why me? That stuff, I like, I like the sample, like you know, from the old YME. I think it was like what some yeah. shaggy or something. Yeah, so how did that one come? It's just vibe now. Felt like, like you're asking yourself questions, you know what I mean? Like, why many of these matter this up? A lot of times you feel like you're famous and people know you, but then you just have like a whole lot of questions that you can't even ask because number one, you're famous, right? So, this is addressing a bunch of stuff that you know that they happen. So, to women, may concern many, many times. Well, I love with fame now. Is this something that you guys can never get used to? Like, you know, being famous and, you know, the whole problem that comes with it. You can never get used to being famous because you are, you are famous to different kinds of people. So some people, they're mad, but they like you. But you see, you're too deep. <laughs> no, no. I bet you make me go the next track. All right, so with the next song here, you have Erica. Erica is like one of my, Erica. you know, yeah, shout out because I'm from Delta State. You're from uh, Delta State. I mean, yes, man. Erica never has a bad verse as well. But I just feel like, you know, the country is not opening up too much for pigeon rap, you know? I feel like there's still, you know, that distance for them to accept it, but which is fine. So I just want to know how this Erica stuff came about, you know? First of all, I feel like we need to stop disrespecting those type of talents. Because in the end, Erica has given them over 200 million streams, Abby. Bro, Erica is dope. And uh, so I feel like it's time to stop referencing to people like the ignored or anything like that's talent that's dope right there i would not deal with erica based on what i thought the industry perceived them as now traffic my erica first me for first act then i heard his lyrics i'm like oh, this guy is a bad guy on this song there's a lyric that i really wish he didn't say but he did the erica must say something no as in everybody when you hear it you will know or on your tip you but crowd control you don't know you don't know tomorrow you don't know you don't know, you don't know. Tomorrow, you don't know. Hey, Papa. You don't know, you don't know. They break every ass boy. You don't know. Oh, shout out to Erica. The 
guy has lyrics for days. So do, who produced the song? Space Boy Mercury. Were you like in the session with Eriga or did you like, you know, how did this one come about? Did you just, just think about Eriga or... It just felt like having an Ebenezer Obey sample and having Eriga rap on it was going to be dope regardless. But I don't know. I just picked Eriga to be on the, on the feature on that record. It wasn't because there was any special... Like I said, there wasn't any special consideration. It wasn't whether people were accepting what he was doing or not accepting what he was doing. It was based on how I felt. So, yeah, he had to be Eriga because he was Eriga. That's all. Perfect. Insomnia. Insomnia. I heard this song and, you know, it had to do the conscious side of you. Because I was going to ask you at the beginning of the album, like, you know, if we're going to have, like, other conscious music. Because I know this, you have that part where, you know, you're, like, vocal about things that are affecting people. But Nigeria, we know the hear what, like, it's affecting you today and you're doing it tomorrow. Well, I guess you just have to keep doing your best. And our best right now is Crowd Controller to play this song. I have so many sleepless nights, still trying to get stuff right. I just want to stay lit, but I have to face my fights. Go face time with the demons, dig deep down for the light. Religion is way too perfect. It's not right. Like, how does the. Make some noise for the bars, man. Ah! Oh, ma. I have to wear glass for this one. <laughs> you people don't like politicians, it's not nice. Everybody don't tire. Everybody don't tire, man. You know, that song is out there. Go and stream it. I'm not going to speak about that song. In fact, if you just go stream it. We're going to the next one. <laughs> I did tell you. The next one is Mercy. On need you have Shay vibes. Mama comes back during Mercy. Let's go. Yeah. It is so, was that was that the Adora, the prayer song of the album? <laughs> Why did you not like this? Because I didn't look forward to the prayer song of the album. I always like when you do that stuff. The Sele in you comes out. Yeah. Well, this song, my dad was like then, ah, say, Larry, won't you do rap song and Sele music? I was like, no. That was years ago. This is a Sele song. Yeah. Oh, really? Baba mi lo lo ko tin wo ko re. O ma no no. O si mo pe mu wa ninu o ko. Ma se je je ma wa wa lo baba mi. That's the song. So my dad then was like, ah, would you do Celeste song and rap? But I was angry that time because when I started to rap, Celeste Church said I was being too wordy. I say, ah, say, it's evil spirits music or something like that. So, but then he passed. After he passed, I thought about what he said again and I attempted it and this happened. I love this song. I'm just excited that there's a prayer song that I can be bumping. Uh, you're Lenam. You're Lenam. It means my father is the owner of the car that I'm seated in in this journey and he knows that I'm here. So I'm safe in his care. Even in the explanation, you rhymed. You know what time it is. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to VC for this one. Who produced this? A select guy or, you know, regular? Uh, Ludo. <laughs> <laughs> Eager boy. Eager boy. Yeah. How does that go down, down, down for my fellow? He came with the beat too. So <laughs> sometimes the guy will just make like dope, soulful stuff and just hum stuff on it. I mean, I believe music is music regardless. So we use it that way. So how many producers did you work with on this album? Uh, I know their name, but I didn't count how many there are. I feel because no. like for every song here, yeah, there's been a different producer. And while like track number six. Yeah. So let's go to the next one, which is Shocky Shambolo. Shocky Shambala. I walk on lay. Shocky Shambala. Shocky Shambala. Ni mo, yeah. Ni mo, yeah. Shocky Shambala. Shocky Shambala. Shocky Shambala. Shocky Shambala. Shocky Shambala. Is that Milari? No. Some kids in Lafayette. When are you dropping this video? When we drop them now. I beg drop them. You know that sometimes artists when I could just drop sweet song. You could do the album, you could just forget that video. It a pain sometimes. We take a big. Oh, yeah, we don't hear you. We're we'll, we'll giving a video. Yeah. You did the video. Perfect. I did, yeah. Crowd control ourselves say you won't do the video. So I want to. Okay, I see that communication. Yeah, we're we'll gonna do the video. I beg, I beg, I want the. <laughs> Who produced you. this? KLP. KLP. Oh, okay. So for the album, now most of the songs, how your recording process was it beats that you send your verse or you are there from the scratch? I mean, Starting music from the scratch, the the problem is I write music fast. 
So whilst you are trying to get your baseline and everything, and probably I'm done with my first verse. And the beat never even reach. So it, it frustrates me some kind. So because I so I record myself, but I can I can deal with it. You know what I mean? But when they send the beats in, I, I always let the beats say what it wants to me over me just jump on something that I feel like. Uh, this beat sound like no, I'll take my time. So some records I didn't touch the beat until a year after. But okay. then you can write the music in one hour. All right, dope. So do you have songs on the album from like years, like something you recorded like years ago? I need you. My daughter is seven. She was two. Re wow. You recorded it like what, like five years ago? Yeah. It's taken me one track, 10 years to actually finish, actually. What track? It's not on this. It's tied to plants in the paper. Okay. When we get there. You know, so as simple as it to sound to you, it took me about 10 years to finally be satisfied with what it sounds like. Deep meaning. The next song is Clown. Featuring Lady Poe. <laughs> Are you sure? Let's go. Are you Slow sure? Yeah, let's do it. Odinaka Pascal. You know when P. Diddy said he wasn't scared of clowns and a clown popping up had Diddy dancing around? Let's just let's... make some noise again. Sit ah. Yo, I'm barely in my bag because that's a body bag, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man, this song, this song is so dope. Amazing record. Yeah, thank you. You already know that you must drop the video, so we'll go, we're going to skip that conversation. How far? So now video talk, you do like no, this? No, I don't know, but it's too sweet. You did such, you are I did fight, I don't know. From here, I want to go to VBs. Direct. <laughs> direct, direct. Maybe he's talking about video too much, so just put in the word, you know, just in You know how they shoot videos these days, so... Yeah, yeah so... Just you, call me up. Why you know how they tell BB say they did video business? Maybe BB they know. <laughs> Who yeah. produced the song? GMK. GMK. Yeah, Man. shout out to GMK. Shout out to GMK. Yeah. And shout out to Ladi Poe. I always felt like if I had to feature a rapper that was like a good lyricist, you know, we have to make use of lyricism, you know. And not just be the baddest guy, you know. Because the baddest guy before, no be the baddest guy today. <laughs> well... <laughs> Laddie just, we had conversations before then. Um, I wasn't a fan of the culture of features in Nigeria at a point because it was just majorly number based and not really vibe or connection based. And when me and Laddie Poe spoke, he was like a real one. So I just sent the music to him. I'd made that already and he was just waiting. Oh, Martango for your real connection. Though. This yeah. class is dope, man. It's amazing jam. Blessings, yeah. gang. The next one is Big Flexer featuring AU. Is that a skit or a song? This is Skong. <laughs> It's kid song. <laughs> no, don't worry. We're talking the producer about... of Big Flexer is in the house. I think I saw himself. Shout out to you. So, uh, uh, CK, let's hear something with AO now. Okay. I'll be in the lab like Dexter. Word. She said I'm a bad texter. Okay. Only chick I listen to Alexa. Word. And you know mine's is a Big Flexer. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to AO. Hey, your ginger is like out of this world, man. Bruh, and he's still calm with it too, so... Imagine if Ayo begin vex. In his calm, he's the spoil mic. <laughs> make, make we not see how many they vex, so... Hey. We're going to the next song. This is the 11th song from the album. What's that? Is that What's That too? Featuring Nasty C. Hey, yo, crowd controller. What's that? A new Barbie? What's that? Stella McCartney? Dance for me now, dance for me now. Break it, break it, break it, Kenny now. Kenny, what's that? Kenny, 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 what's that? Kenny, 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 what's that? Kenny, 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 what's that? What's that? Okay, 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 okay. Hip hop way. Is the producer here? Mr. Kleb, no. Oh, Mr. Kleb. Yes, I really want more guy. Yeah, Mr. Kleb. Bad guy. So, what's up? Nice to see. Were you in SC or you know? He was in Nigeria. He was in Nigeria. Oh, okay. Shout out to AZ. It was yeah, it was a session put together by AZ and Embio them. I was mixing sounds and I wanted to create something that could be along the lines of say rap fro beats, where you can be your rap self and still be on your African sound. Cause it gets boring when they think hip hop should be hit New York bang 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 bang. True. Fuck true, 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 true. Yeah. So I remember having a conversation with Nasty and I was like, yo, I don't know what the fuck this is, but this shit is dope. I'm like, okay, so fast forward now. What's that? Shout out to AZ, Bio, and crew that made that happen to that time. And Kane, too. All right, so the next song is Mama Maradona. You already know hits. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we already know this song, but you know, we have to listen to it again. I'm a maratona with the soccer, yeah. He did I hook me up with him, daughter, yeah. Maybe he thinks that I'm a jebotter. Along my journey, shoot to my bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to One Day Cole. Black Diamond. I think I saw the... I saw when you guys were recording this song, you know, on Instagram, you're like in, I don't know, like an apartment or in a, a hotel. I bet just give us this gist because the song too sweet. So was it that one day was just walking by or based on your old guy, you just call your guy, say, my guy, I call my side. We're first of all hanging out somewhere. I think Rotect was there as well that night. And one day was in the same building. You don't, we don't get to mention these type of things about artists enough. Because there are just some people who just go with the spirit of music, genuine, genuine. Yes, we know that people chase numbers and all those accolades, but there are people who genuinely just make music. One day level bad, eh, we'll be saying, the night when we record the song, the second time that we were in the apartment, that we're finishing up, one day wanted to do the exact ad libs that he had done before, but he had forgotten that he had done them. Mad. Like that show you how, like how, Initially, the energy of it was just seamless, was easy. So when he say, ah, say, man, imagine this, this, I'm like, wait, hold up. Listen, I'm like, shit, like, that's the, the level of energy of, con like, connect that I get with artists like one day, and it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. I need to appreciate him for that, especially, because, yeah, you, you, it's hard to find. Shout out to WCZ. It's hard to find. <laughs> so who came up with the concept? Uh, Mama Maradona with the soccer. We don't they record the song oh, one day just day. Uh uh. One day they this uh, this building, yes. Uh, then we greet ourselves for oh, yeah, this Guadu now. Uh-uh. And it just goes in. Like <laughs> it was so crazy and spontaneous that you think we had really wanted to make music together. But he will know one of the things that pulled me towards him years ago. We had, we had this show, I think it was Brilla FM rep your club or something. So if you're an Arsenal fan, you come in your Arsenal jersey and you, so Arsenal artists perform for Arsenal fans. Gunners for life. And one day was walking past. I know that time me, I was a very, very angry rapper. I was a very, very angry rapper. Everybody was just food. Wait, the first time I saw Mood 9, Alpha, let's battle. Ah, ah. Yes, now. <laughs> guy, be good to know about yourself. I believe you die. And so me, I was there feeling like a bad guy, you know, like, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> and one day, Seth, no, if you remember what he tell me, he just walks past and says, <laughs> say, fine boy, they sell you. <laughs> Instead of you to the vex. When he said, fine boy, they sell you, I don't even think he remembers he said that to me. I just realized, well, I need to run now. I'll be Lagos Island boy now. You get why they wear tiny blades that year now, white gold. Say, ah, true, true, fine boy, really now, you know. He wouldn't, in a million years, think that such a short whisper at an event would stay with me. Like advancing into my career and becoming, accepting the self. You know, it sounded like something trivial. But when I tell him, he said, no, remember. I know, I but know. Yeah, shout out to him. Real energy, my G. Yeah. Shout out to him. At least Yemoli will confirm if I'm by the cell. We're going to the next song, which is Mami Water featuring Iemoja. Eh? Now, wow. <laughs> Abi Iemoja. Oh. VC. Not the Henny, not the Henny. You know, you see, you know, it's the boss, my own. I say, crowd controller, now your guy. So, as the bad guy, they you give you the effect. <laughs> featuring Sheon Kuti. CK, drop out. Somebody pray for me. She got a hold on me. Somebody daughter, na mommy water, mommy water, mommy water, mommy water, na mommy water. Now they look, at they look. I'm twice before I talk now. Mommy water, yes, no. But do you really believe in mommy water? Like whether I believe in mommy, I don't have enough reason to believe in a mommy though. So you don't believe that they exist. But they know fish like Alula na fish. Alula sabi swim. That's a Aisha na fish. Aisha sabi swim. But Aisha get leg. 
I talk of the normal mommy was I wenge fin. No. You never say her. I never said before. <laughs> they say a powerless power that here, so <laughs> you be really sell it, guy. Sell it. You go don't jump match and match up. No. You know what? I was the I was the only select kid that was like, wow. <laughs> when they do all those things. Right. If we did if we did beach for nights where they do night vigil, I just like, why the fuck is mosquito biting us? Like, I don't know. Like, what are we praying for? That mosquito is biting us at Bar Beach. You know, you know, beach mosquito, you know, be normal mosquito, Abby. Yeah, no, they don't drink salty Mosquito, water. if we stand that wind where they come from, sure. They don't grab. You're going to say now, nah, if, if it gets stamina. <laughs> so, <laughs> not Gabriel Jesus be that mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was, I was just, I was just say, like it, they would say, shut up. Because I'd be like, so what, what's this one for? Keep quiet. Okay, gotcha. But I love the music, Sha. I love it. I love the music in the White Garment Church, yes. Yes, now, like, no, I don't know which guy said, maybe now that they possess, especially they possess, now the service you go. So you don't really like the music because now war music. But if you day harvest, what's wrong with you? Your <laughs> wedding is not as sweet as Sele Harvest. No worry, based on live band. No worry. Sele on sweet past plenty wedding now. You don't ever hear drum where you go there. <laughs> 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 I'm your bishop. We were the radicals in the white government church. We were the ones that. I get, I see, I see. <laughs> so I see. I see, I the film. She won't cut How far? She always wants us to make funny music. So it's a G, like. It's a G. I mean, serious music too, but you know, everybody thinks with Shion every day is ah, freedom fighting, everything, everything. Ah. It affects on Instagram every day. She has a dance for this song. Uh -uh. It's, it's quite an embarrassing one, but you know, it's the world of TikTok today. So. You want to show us? Like, you want to show us? <laughs> See, some people here, yeah, they, they know what they are doing. So you expect me to tell you or to dance the dance that I think is embarrassing. <laughs> but guess, if you know me, you know so I'm not going to do anything like that. You know? But I get video of Shane Widow down for Balcony for my good do. I'll post down for you to see. It's a very ridiculous dance. It's, it says we are the mermen, so we have to dance like this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a, I mean, I'm six foot four. So imagine me like, like Doing rubber. That. They do like this. It'll yeah. be like balloon when breeze the blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mami. Was produced by who, by the way? Mr. Kleb. Mr. Kleb. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that was Mami Water featuring Sharon Kuti. And now we're moving on to the 14th song on the album, which is Ellie Momo. CK. Many, many things I can do for you. If you let me do what I do for you. Oh my God, it's a Lola. Ibuku. Let's go. You guys clap for that song now. VC, where did you see Good Girl LA? In Nigeria. Yes, I saw her in Yaba. <clears throat> Left or right? She was buying Okrika, so. And I was selling it, so I can't hold on for and say, fine girl, where they go? Now, early moment, she come to your shop. Yes, early moment, I come shop. So now she open market. She says she won't buy blue jeans, but I get green. So. <laughs> That's Yaba people, like, you go and buy blue jeans, they'll say, come see this one, I get them, I get them. You say, I see like black St jeans. Stock jeans, stock jeans, very stock. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I th the first time was at a phone launch. She had come to perform and I thought she could sing, but I didn't know what her range was until I met her through Tony Wakalo and we made Eli Momo. Did you write that song or, you know, you guys co-wrote? Well, she wrote her verse. So the chorus, like, you know, talking about the chorus. Like, yeah. yeah. But did you expect the song to go as far as it did? I've, I've never written music with the hope of where I think it should go or how big I think it will become. Oh, okay. Because you'll never know now, will you? You never know. People like what they like, so... Produced by Mr. Clem as well. Yep, Mr. It's, Clem. You know, it's already a perfect song. Everybody knows that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move to the next song. It's called Fefe... Ferrari. Fefe. Oh, it's Fefe. Why am I always pronouncing these things wrong? <laughs> well, normally, Yoruba we not Fefe is on Mari Mari. Yes, I was even thinking or Ferrari, blue, blue. based on Fefe, Ferrari, Fefe. Yeah, but it's Fefe, not Fefe. It's Fefe, okay. Fefe is Yoruba. All right, so it's featuring Shadow Chris. Yeah, Shadow Chris from Cote d'Ivoire. Ivory Coast, that's Cote d'Ivoire. 
I don't know anybody's money, but I know the money I get. The Lagos Island town that I rep is no play mess in Paris type fresh. The only thing failed is the brakes, how can I stop? Only thing going down is the roof of the car, baby, how can I drop? Th- oh, shiznit, shiznit, shiznit. I love that jam. I like the whole French. I don't know if it's Fr- I don't know, their own kind of French though. Then I like the trap. I'm sure self yeah. added that kind of like trap, yeah. It's, Yomi can speak more French now, so. To put le affair, pour la version. That was an amazing jam. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was track 15. We are now proceeding to listen to the next song, which is the last track of the album, Test Slim. You know, like I said before, you need to pre order the album. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the last track. It's called My Name. Crowd Controller. You know my name. Oh, Shay Langley. Know my name. My name. Know 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 my name. You know my name. You know my name. You know my name. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last song from the album, VEC. I want to say congratulations. Thank you. You know, on your 10th project. You know, I've been a fan for a very long time. And, uh, you know, I'm happy I'm still a fan. And, you know, I'm happy you're still doing what you're doing for us that, are, you know, loved you for like 12 years, bro. You yeah. know, it's a long time. Blessings. You know, man. I'm excited. So I wish you all the best with this album. And please, those videos, no forgets. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is. Good night from us. Shout out to the sponsors. Shout out to Hennessy, Pepsi, the pillar for tonight. Shout out to Tom Tom, Trace, the connecting bridge.